What's up guys? What we're going to be doing in this video is I'm actually going to show you the steps involved in setting up an ACH 580 drive to communicate using BACnet. Uh, this particular drive does have the Eclipse Bypass. That's something you need to take a special note on because if your drive does not have the Eclipse Bypass, you will be setting up the drive for communication through the drive itself. The drive will communicate through the Eclipse Bypass to your network if you do have one of these, so do not get that confused. It is a different procedure to set a drive to communicate through BACnet uh, if you do not have the bypass. Okay, so what we are going to do in our parameters list, this is basically what you're going to see if you power the drive up. I'm going to press enter and what I want to do is to go down to the parameter list. Okay, I press enter again. I go into my parameter list and I want to go up to group 98 which is the options group and that is the communication protocol, okay? 9802, I'm going to press enter, and you can see here that it is defaulted to BACnet. So that is good. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to select the uh, address, okay? We have to set our device address. So that's going to be under group 58. Press enter. The device MAC ID right here. 5803 is what you're going to need. I'm going to press enter. Right now this drive is set for an address of 10. I need this to be 26. So basically what I'm going to do is just hold the button up, uh, the up button until I get it to go up. Now there is a shortcut as far as that goes, uh, as far as getting it to whichever number that you need it to be. But for me, I'm going to be just doing it the old fashioned way. Okay, I have 26, I press enter. Okay, now then, you also need to make sure of your baud rate, 5804. Whatever your trunk is communicating, that's what you've got to make sure of. 38.4 is the default, which is correct for this. You then need to go up to parameter 5840, and this is going to be your BACnet instance ID. Okay, this is where you're going to set that value. Okay, you got to make sure that there's no conflicts between this value and any other values or any other instance IDs on your network. Uh, that is part of the communication protocol. And now there is a way, if your number is going to be quite large, that you can enter a value. You basically have, you have to split it between two different parameters, but we're not going to be doing that with this current drive. If you make a change on the instance ID, remember that once you save it, you do have to do a power cycle to make sure that those changes take effect. I would also recommend creating a backup on the module as well. And that is the basic steps of setting up your device to communicate using BACnet. It's also a good idea that once you make these changes to create a backup, well, you're now ready to connect our trunk and see if we can discover points on this drive. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to check out the links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.